Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning and Plumbing. The man for all seasons, Chapman. ChapmanHeating.com. Well, in April, we introduced you to a Grant County restaurant that quickly pivoted as the pandemic began to take hold. Ivanhoe's is an institution in Upland that adapted to the new reality of eating out by embracing a throwback strategy. Customers were served food in their cars like they were when Ivanhoe's first opened as a drive up in the 60s. Since then, business has been booming. The restaurant is at 50% seating capacity and still serving people in their cars. General Manager Mark Sowers tells Inside Indiana Business since our story aired, he's seen an uptick in customers driving from further away to get a sample of Ivanhoe's. Sowers uh, describes as uh, really my slow would be other people's busy. And with Americans across the country stuck at home under stay at home orders due to COVID-19, in the spring demand for jigsaw puzzles started surging. Mary Rachel uh, Redmond went to Package Ride in Tipton to see how the puzzle and game maker kept up with demand. With non-essential businesses shutting down across the state, Package Ride in Tipton, Indiana was no exception. But with the surge of people staying home, puzzles have suddenly become a hot ticket item, which presented a unique opportunity for Package Ride Vice President Pat Kulsejak. When the governor of Indiana decided that it was time for businesses in Indiana to close on March 24th, we immediately closed our facility. We immediately all wanted to just get home to our families. Interesting enough, as time went on, we were getting a huge demand for our manufacturing of games and puzzles. It didn't take long for the market to run out. As a result, we got our staff together and, and started talking through some of the issues. I proposed uh, a letter to um, the governor's office and I asked for permission to open up under certain restrictions and certain circumstances. I was granted permission. And since opening back up for business, demand for puzzles has skyrocketed with customer demand up 50% in just the last two weeks. And it doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. And Fat Kulsejak says he's looking to hire another 60 plus people to help with the workload. During this time of the year, we would have 130 to 140 people working. We're averaging right in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 across two shifts. We employ locals. 90% of the people that work in this facility drive less than 25 miles to get to work. We're averaging right in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 across two shifts. So I have a need for another 60 people. If every one of my employees decided tomorrow that they were going to come back with the demand of the puzzle right now, I could use another 50 people. And during this time of uncertainty, Colsey Jacks says providing families with a fun distraction is what gives he and his team the most satisfaction. It, 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 it's wonderful. I mean, we, we, we absolutely love what we do here. And we love what we do because of who we're impacting. And when people um, are working our puzzles, and we know that we're the ones, and when we go to the websites and we see the, the, the great um, feedback that we get from the puzzlers out there, it just drives you. It, it drives you to want to do more.